गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिज़ाइन अ सेल टावर दैट इज अ स्टील स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग स्टार्ट प्रो सो लेट स्टार्ट इट विल क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट स्पेस एंड देन विल गिव द नेम दैट इज सेल टावर एंड यूनिट लेंस विल बी मीटर एंड किलो न्यूटन नेक्स्ट ओके एंड देन विल एड बीम एंड फिनिश okay first of all the grid shown over here is in x and y plane okay first go to isometric view or 3d view okay and then we'll edit the plane in x z direction and the number of grid lines will be 15 and 15 okay then we'll go to top view okay in top view will approximately select a center point like this then escape button and will add by snap node beam we have to create the beams around this the first beam as is at 2 by 2 direction x escape button and then again snap node beam then will add beam in the same way then escape again snap node beam escape and snap node beam and finally one more snap node beam okay so this is a project will off the grid lines so this is a final view let's take it from front view isometric view and top view so top view we will select these beams right click on these beams then move y direction 3 meter and okay then the inner beams right click move y direction again 3 meter and then okay then again inner beams right click then finally the last beam will select it right click move y direction 3 meter okay and okay theek hai to hum isko front view mein dekh lenge ye dekhiye ye aise bana hai top view mein aise to hum log jo front view mein top beam ko select karenge and we'll do a transitional repeat okay in y direction spacing is 3 meter and we'll create seven steps will link the steps and then okay so aap dekh sakte ho ye aisa ban chuka hai ab hame isme bracings lagani hai okay bracings lagane ke liye we'll go to front view we'll select these beams okay and then we'll right click on there insert node add midpoint okay so midpoints are inserted okay then we'll go to top view okay and we'll connect these points we'll provide bracings to our structure we'll go to add beams zoom it provide beams in this manner add beams carefully uh, after providing these beams our column bracings will be done if you think that i am going a little fast then please aapke settings mein jaake aap speed kam kar sakte ho वीडियो की एंड स्पीड बढ़ा भी सकते हो अगर आपको जल्दी समझ में आ रहा है तो ओके देन अगेन इन फ्रंट व्यू विल सिलेक्ट दिस बीम एंड राइट क्लिक अगेन इंसर्ट नोड एंड एडमिट पॉइंट ओके 
again in top view we'll add bracings over here also inside view this beam should be selected right click add midpoints uh, insert node add midpoints okay and then again to top view add beams and add to these points basics okay so now we are going to connect these points the corner points are like this okay so now again in the top view we are going to connect these points okay now we'll go in front view so this is a column and we need to place this node at the top so above 3 meter of this node so we'll check what is the height of this node select this node double tap on that height is y direction 33 meter so we need to paste this node in 36 meter direction so this node is not selected we'll go to top view we'll select this node again to isometric view that node is selected and then right click move y 36 meter and ok yes so this node is selected now we will add beams and connect this node to respected tower we'll rotate the structure to adjust our view ok so the modeling of the cell tower is done now we'll go to front view and delete the basement ok we'll select this and delete yes yes ok so we'll go to 3d render view so this is our cell tower ok and we'll add properties to our tower first we are going to define section database will provide L section angle column in our structure ok first of all we need to go to section database it's loading yes now we'll choose Indian section because we are in country India ok then in Indian sections we'll choose angle section we are going to take 200 into 200 into 25 note it down in a steel 200 into 200 into 25 and then add and close we'll assign this section to the whole structure so assign to view assign yes so it's assigned to the whole structure then we'll provide support to the column okay well support we need to create a fixed support we'll assign this support to the front view to the nodes at the base you can see in isometric view it's uh, the base nodes are selected we'll select the support assign to selected nodes assign yes so support is assigned now we will give load definition in load definition we will provide a dead load and the wind load to the cell tower structure first we will define the dead load add add and close in type 1 wind 1 will add uh, calculate as per ASC CE and the structure is tower trusted tower okay and then uh, consider wind speed upon up over hills if your tower is on hills then yes if not then no we are taking no okay and the wind speed uh, is 85 meter per hour let it be like that only uh, a little bit there. then we'll ok and then mm -hmm. so these are the intensity and height created or 
we can also just uh, create it by myself also we'll close it we'll again go to type one and add and again मैं इसको अपने हिसाब से भी डिज़ाइन कर सकता हूँ जैसे मेरी हाइट है थर्टी सिक्स मीटर तो एट थर्टी एट एन इंटेंसिटी ऑफ अराउंड थर्टी किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर एट हाइट ऑफ ट्वेंटी मीटर एट इंटेंसिटी ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर आई थिंक ओके एट इंटेंसिटी ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट हाइट ऑफ 22 meter or uh, we'll take uh, first we we'll decide the height and then the intensity the height might be 22 and then 20 and then 15 and 5 uh, and 10 and 5 and here it would be 25 20 15 and 25 20 15 and um, let it be 12 and seven. Uh, I had taken uh, values of the wind intensity and at about height. I'll add it at a factor of one and I'll add it and close. In exposure, I'll assign to view, assign and yes. So it has been assigned to view. Then we'll go to load case details. We'll add dead load initially and then wind load. So in dead load, we'll give dead load DL and in wind load, we'll provide wind load in x direction and wind load in z direction or z direction add and close in dead load we'll add the self weight of the structure as minus one factor and we'll assign the self weight to the view sign yes and then in wind load x direction we'll add uh, we'll add wind load over here okay in x direction positive one factor and negative one factor same in z direction will add wind load in positive one direction and positive and negative one direction or negative one factor okay now we are going to take load case details and add an auto load combination as per indian code generate loads and then add and close so now we are going to assign material that is steel assigned to view assign yes steel is assigned analysis and print no print add close analysis run analysis and save the structure so analysis is being done let's wait for the final results so here we have zero error and zero warnings we'll go to post processing mode okay and then okay so here is the deflection of the structure okay and we'll close the deflection we'll go to bending moment let's see the bending moment of the structure these are the bending moment diagram of the structure we'll close this we'll go to shear force diagram this is the shear force diagram of the structure and this is the actual diagram of the structure okay we'll close it if you want to find reactions these are the end reactions and then if we take the uh, animations in deflection um, apply okay so in dead load this will be in this direction this will deflect in this in mid load z direction you can see the moment over here right you can see the moment it will deflect in z direction and x direction like this or will take any combination it will change like this from here we are changing it okay then again we'll go to post processing mode and uh, reports will take it later let us design in the modeling let's design the steel tower we'll go to design in steel will create uh, will take is 800 it is is 800 lhd will design will select the parameters first uh, we'll take a track and FYSD. Where is FYSD? Yeah, yield strength. Okay, and okay. Then define parameter in FYLD. We'll define it by 500 
and R and in track the for, there are three parameters for track 0 1 2 in 0 uh, it will give output at minimum detail level in 1 at intermediate detail level and in 2 it design output at maximum so we need maximum detail level add and close but then we'll go to commands in commands we'll add a check code we'll add a member takeoff we'll add select we'll add a takeoff and close then the, all the question marks should be assigned to view okay fysd assign to view assign yes track assign to view assign yes check code assign to view yes then steel member takeoff assign to view assign yes select assign to view assign yes steel takeoff assign to view assign yes then we'll go to analysis or print and then all and add and close and then analysis and run analysis and this save the structure then we'll wait for final results okay It will take a little time. Just wait patiently. It's almost completed. So the analysis and design has been completed will go to output file over here and done so in output files we'll go to results and steel design so this is a steel design according to is indian standard codes and this week this is the whole design structure you will get everything over here okay we'll change we'll get designs of different parameters over here we'll close this will go to post processing mode okay in this post we will first close deflection i will select any beam and double tap on that so this is the design properties uh, here it is written 120 into 80 into 8 the section of 120 into 80 into 8 is sufficient to carry the load of the structure okay uh, this uh, these details are provided by uh, is code okay and uh, we had taken a section of 200 into 200 into 25 okay and these are the details the deflection the that that beam this beam will deflect in this manner okay this is the shear bending and uh, shear force will we will change it from here okay and at what distance we'll change it okay uh, you, you can also mention in this column the distance and then loading dead load wind load load cases details and property we had taken look here we had taken 200 into 200 into 25 section but the computer has designed uh, that 120 into 8 into 8 section is sufficient to carry the defined loads of the structure this is our structure okay we'll close this and we'll see the deflection we have selected a beam and this is the beam L section beam you can also see the stresses in the beams and uh, let's see the whole structure in rendered view here we can see the whole structure in a rendered view okay so this is a complete design of iPhone cell tower of a cell tower sorry so if you like my video please like and subscribe it share to your friends as much as possible make it viral and thank you for your support thank you